Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders board and coming at you with some breaking news. The Las Vegas Raiders have gone out and they have signed linebacker slash edge rusher Kyler Fackrell. And I'm hopefully, I don't get that name wrong because my dyslexia is really coming out for whatever reason when I pronounce this name. That's actually not the only move that we're going to be breaking down on today's show. We'll also get into some offensive lineman names in terms of the Raiders going out and re-signing them. In terms of Fackrell, I mean the six foot five, 245 pound linebacker slash edge rusher. He had 17 tackles last season on the Los Angeles Chargers, three sacks, four tackles for loss, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. I really truly believe the biggest reason why the Raiders decided to go out and get this dude is because when you talk about the brand new defensive coordinator, Patrick Graham, Fackrell played with Graham back in 2020 in a season where he had 34 tackles, four sacks, a, uh, seven tackles for loss, 10 quarterback hits, but he also had two PBUs, a forced fumble, an interception, a touchdown. Pretty good playmaker overall with the Giants, in, at least at the end of the season. And then you got to go back even to 2018 with the Green Bay Packers. He had 10 and a half sacks. I don't anticipate him putting up those type of numbers. However, until the contract details come out, it's hard to really truly wrap my mind around how I feel in terms of it's a really good deal. But knowing that it's only a one-year deal and a 3-4 defense can be that solid edge rusher off the side to fill in here and there, whether you got to take off Cleveland Furl, Malcolm Kuntz, you could be looking at a better version of what you were hoping that the Raiders when, uh, when they went out and got the deal for Carl Nassib. So let me know down in the comments section right now. What is your one word reaction to Kyler Fackrell? I'll tell you what, when I saw his last name, there was an F word that started floating around in my mind personally. But I think this one just goes down to system in terms of Patrick Graham is confident in a player that he believes is going to be able to come in and be a solid fit in his system right away. I've said it multiple times on this show, and even though edge rusher is not the biggest need for this team, yes, linebacker is still a little bit of a need because realistically the only top guys you still got out there, Divine Diablo, Denzel Perriman, curious what you got out of Malcolm Kuntz, the third-round pick from last season. I mean, you got Fackrell and Kuntz. Those are two hell of last names. But you need to be able to go out and get after the quarterback, whether that's Mahomes, Herbert. I mean, it's just the list goes on and on and on. The AFC quarterbacks continue to get better and better. But let me know down in the comments your one-word reaction to Kyler Fackrell signing with the Raiders. As always, we keep you up to date here on the Raiders Report. Whether it's news, whether it's rumors, I am happy and always pleased to go ahead and break down the latest going on around the silver and black. I know I put out a video just, what, an hour, an hour and a half ago, two hours ago, you guys were watching Chug and Jimmy, and now here at Chat Sports, we're giving you more content. You won't find another YouTube channel that provides what we do. That I can 100% promise you. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. The Raiders also went ahead and they re-signed offensive lineman Brandon Parker, which I actually broke this down on locals. And then you know, I was like, hey, you know what? This move was big enough. I'll go ahead and I'll break it down here on YouTube as well. Parker was drafted. In the second round in 2018 out of North Carolina AT&T, or AT&T, A&T, <laughs> I have Verizon. Personally, I never liked this move from the jump, right? I mean, this was a move that Tom Cable wanted to go out and get a big, long, lanky tackle that he figured, oh, I can help shape and mold. However, Tom Cable should not be shaping or molding anything unless he's on late night rumble. That's all I got to say. But in 2021, Eight sacks allowed, 14 games played last season. He had 881 snaps, a PFF grade of somewhere around 55. There's nobody that's watching this show right now where if I were to tell you Brandon Parker is going to be your starting right tackle, there's not a single person on here, and if you are, you're insane, would be like, oh, goody, Brandon Parker is going to be the right tackle. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys have to say. Do you like the move or do you dislike the move? If, if Parker is going to be your backup swing tackle, which means you can throw him over the left side, throw him over to the right side, which is what I anticipated out of the Raiders last season, then I'm okay with the move. I don't expect it to break the bank by any means whatsoever, but if the plan is to have Parker start at right tackle, I just do not understand how you could look me in the eyes, Raider Nation, Derek Carr and say, don't worry, you're going to be okay. I have more confidence in the Raiders' new offensive line coach who's had a lot of success, yes. But until I see the contract details and if he plans on being the starter, 
then I'm going to go ahead and type my D for dislike. If you guys are looking for more Raiders content, remember, please go ahead and join our awesome community. we got over 600 members. We're trying to get to a 100 supporters. If you haven't already joined, it's RaidersReport.Locals.com. i got a March Madness tournament going over there. Winner's going to get a signed Rich Gannon helmet. Unfortunately, you took too long to come on over. But whether you want to be a monthly or a yearly supporter we have fun content i did the one chip challenge i ate the hottest chip in the world so hot that you can't even touch a baby afterwards and even after i got out of the shower i was rubbing my face that was the only thing i rubbed and it was burning i promise you on that another video that i did i did a live show raiders and chill just talking about free agency talking about the Devonte adams trade this is the type of content where if all you want is more Raiders content, we got you covered. And one of my favorite things about locals is, I know on YouTube, if you're like walking, like every time I try to walk Chuck and I'm on YouTube, if I put my phone in my pocket, the video stops. With locals, the video doesn't stop. So for people who want to listen to a podcast style or want to go out and do something, you can put the video in your pocket, you can close it, and it's still going to play. So if that interests you, Raidersport.locals.com. The other move that ends up happening, and now this one has yet to be 100% confirmed, but I have heard, according to a source, that Jermaine Illuminor is also going to be re-signing with the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, he played last season with the Raiders in terms of a rotational style of role. However, Jermaine Illuminor also spent some time with the New England Patriots in 2019 and in 2020. And the moment that the Raiders hired the old Patriots offensive line coach, Priscilla, I was like, this could be absolutely somebody that you decide to bring back and have as extra depth. Personally, I thought Illuminor played kind of good last season in his spurts his first four games I'm not really 100% sure why they decided to bench him for Parker yes Parker got better as the year went on but I am gonna be 100% honest when I first saw the move of Parker I was nervous the fact that it's now Illuminor and Parker makes me wonder if, if are, is this gonna be the duo that the Raiders have at right tackle so as it stands right now I really truly believe your starting offensive line would be Colt Miller on the left side. Left guard could be John Simpson. Maybe a throw over Denzel Good. Center Andre James. Right guard Alex Leatherwood. Maybe you decide to throw Brandon Parker at right tackle. Jermaine Illuminor. Or maybe just kick over Denzel Good. The fact that I just said that, I want you to be honest with me. What is your confidence level in the Raiders offensive line right now? If it's a one... I don't blame you, but that's still a little bit too low of a number. To 100, it's the best offensive line of football. If you're typing 100, I don't know what you're sipping on, but I'll take a few of them myself. I'm going to somewhere sit some here about 65, 66 overall. You need another left guard, and you need a right tackle. If you made it this far in the video, remember, I got you covered. Whether it's news, whether it's rumors, whether it's free agency, draft, whole bunch of stuff going down here, and... The final details of Kyler Frackle, Fackrell have yet to be released. As soon as they are, I'll let you know. I still see it being a one-year deal, but I do see it as being a good depth move.